Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for our second hot topic. And this uh, security agencies after firms involved in Forex racketeering. And that is being said by the CBN. Joining me to have a conversation is Ike Wane. He's a public analyst. Good morning, Ike. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we're talking about forex racketeering. First, my first question here is, um, how does this affect our economy? Because obviously, there's going to be um, some form of effect. Um, the economy is dwindling in Nigeria at the moment. I know you're in the UK, but in Nigeria, our economy is not um, thriving. So with all of this forex racketeering that is happening, how does it have that impact with the economy? Obviously, it has a devastating effect on the economy. Because today, um, your national uh, symbol or national currency keeps going down uh, on a daily basis. And what it means is that your, your very economic foundation is weakening and uh, uh, you, you cannot even have the capacity to, to even compete you know, with other nations in the international market. Your power purchasing price keeps going down. And it's a national disgrace in actual sense. And that's why racketeering has no positive effect on any economy. Most uh, countries uh, of the world, particularly the advanced countries, find a way to protect their currency. Take, take for instance, in the UK, right? They, they have um, a, a good, I mean, well-structured, you know, forex market that is being controlled by foreign currency authority, by by forex uh, by, by by exchange control authority, and uh, they do everything to make sure that they guide the forex market using policy, you know, um, uh, policy frameworks. Because the moment you start losing your currency, you start losing your international respect. So it's critical that CBN takes, you know, fighting action, you know, against these racketeers. Because you see, it has a way of even spilling cost. It has a way of uh, destroying your economic fabric. And that is why today um, you cannot grow your economy when you have situation of, of this of this nature rampant in your economy. So it's most critical for CBN to do everything humanly possible. Or in the power to make sure that they stop this 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 criminal this fraud called yeah. racketeer. Yeah. So obviously, from what you're saying, there needs to be a crackdown on this. Um, so if you were to advise the CBN, what are some policies you think the CBN can actually put in place to ensure that they stop this um, forex racketeering happening in Nigeria? Well, CBN has, has, has started well in actual sense, you know, by introducing reforms uh, uh, in the in the in the forex market. Um, the, the, the categorization that are trying to introduce would actually go a long way in, 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 in putting, putting some sense in, into the market, right? You don't need the, the audience, the people call audience, you know, flowing around, yeah. you know, uh, play, playing around with a currency. There has to be a structured process. And that's why the recent reform that was introduced, right, would go a long way in actually, you know, stopping this, this, this nonsense, uh, uh, um, 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 called forex uh, uh, racketeering because it shouldn't be treated as business as usual, uh, usual. It's disgraceful that with just a pound, right, you need to, over 2,000 naira to buy a pound. Yeah. Over what? It's disgraceful that you need over 1,000 naira to buy a dollar. It doesn't suggest that your economy is strong enough. For me, we, 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 most people want to ascribe the, 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 the constant uh, devaluation of, 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 of Naira to external shock. It's not really external shock, it's internal shock. It's because our policies are not strong enough, you know, to prevent it. So TBN should quickly, you know, activate the, the, the reforms they about to start already, so they can, you know, stabilize the exchange rate. But, but, but some of us are impressed with what we're seeing right now that the, 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 the Naira is getting stronger by the day. But what we're expecting to see is a uh, Naira will come down to even 200 Naira to a dollar or even 100 Naira to a pound. And yeah. that is where you can actually measure, it's an indicator of a strong economy. So I would want to encourage CBN to go hard on the policy, let it be policy. But I would also advise that they should not leave, you know, um, the forex game in the, in, the, in the hand of market forces alone. Floating or no floating, there has to be policy stand and there also have to be manual intervention in actual sense. Because complete, um, mm. But complete uh, ma living, living your, your your policy in the hand of uh, market forces is not a solution. 
Okay, okay, I just have one, one. I just have one final question on this, and it's um, what role do regulatory bodies have to play in, in in all of this? Because obviously, they need to be able to monitor, prevent, um, put measures in place, and just ensure that this is not happening. So, how do um, uh, regulatory bodies enforce um, whatever policies the CBN is going to put? That's just going to be my final question on this. Yes, you see, when you have a policy, right? Of course, what you expect is that the policy has to be executed. But if you want to have effective execution, then there has to be enforcement. Yeah. If it means setting up an enforcement authority, right, that will be directly responsible, you know, for, for intervening in foreign situations just the way EFCC is doing, then mm -hmm. that will be good enough. I think the, the, the yes, it's a financial crime, but how much can EFCC go? If there really is a control authority that will be specifically set up to monitor our forest, then that will be good enough. Because right. if you, there has to be policy, there has to be intervention. You right. cannot leave your policy in the, completely in the hands of market forces. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. So there has to be policy and there has to be intervention, as a matter of fact. All right. We want to say thank you. That's a good way to land. Thank you for coming and sharing your valuable contributions. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. We've been speaking with E.K. Wane. He is a public analyst, and we've just been talking about the fact that security agencies are after firms involved in forex racketeering, and that is being said by the CBN. Well, that is the size of the show. Thank you for having a breakfast with me. It's been lovely. I'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Rume Paul. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.